Welcome to our tutorial about the closed loop loft. Let's start this out with a sketch. And now let's dimension our circle. We'll give it a diameter of half an inch, 0 0.5. OK. We're ready to exit the sketch. Now let's make the XY plane visible. I'm going to create three profiles at 120 degree angles to each other. Let's place a work axis on the XY plane. And the YZ plane. Let's create a work plane. Select an axis and a plane. Let's enter our angle, 120, OK. Now let's create a sketch on this plane. We'll place a second circle somewhere here. And let's dimension it, 1 inch diameter. OK, and finish the sketch. Let's place a second work plane now. Select the axis and the plane. Angle 240 degrees. OK. Let's create a sketch on this plane. I want an elliptical shape on this plane. Something like this. And let's finish the sketch. Now let's hide all of our planes. Let's control select them, then right click, uncheck visibility. We're ready to activate the loft command. We need our profiles, first profile, second profile, and the third profile. Now let's check the closed loop option and click OK. And here is our closed loop loft. OK, let's undo that feature. I want to create one more plane through this point, this point, and this point. Now let's create a sketch on this plane. Project geometry. Select this point and this point and our third point. Right click and done. Now let's activate the circle tool. We'll place our circle about here. Add a coincident relation between this point and our new circle. Let's finish the sketch. Now let's right click and hide our work plane. Let's activate the loft tool. Select our profiles, first profile, second profile, click to add, third profile. Let's use the center line option, select our latest sketch, check closed loop, and click OK. This concludes our tutorial about the closed loop loft.